Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Yesterday, a school district paid around $10,000 worth of Bitcoin for a ransomware attack, or supposed ransomware attack, because their terminology is so unclear, even I have no idea what they're talking about. But the interesting thing about this incident is just the sheer ignorance of everyone involved. And if you look at the actual news report, it's kind of hilarious. So I wanted to go through it and just show you guys my reaction to it because I think it's kind of funny and it also highlights a really important point about cybersecurity education and the huge gap between the people who are like really well aware of things like ransomware and people who really have no idea and they don't even know what ransomware is really. So let's just play this video and see what the official news sources say. Everything appeared normal at Lemonster High today. In fact, most students were totally okay. unaware that anything was wrong. But if you tried to log into any of the Lemonster School websites, you couldn't. You're greeted with a message that reads, This page cannot be displayed. The page cannot be displayed. So that kind of indicates that their websites went down. I don't know if they're running Windows or Linux on their web servers. So at this point, you don't even know what kind of malware attack it is because any kind of malware attack can take down a website that doesn't have to be ransomware. But there's a lot of ambiguous language here that we're going to see um, in a few seconds. According to the superintendent, on April 14th, the public schools were the victim of a ransomware cyber attack. You notice how they say it, right? Ransomware cyber attack. Superintendent Paula Deacon explained, a lock was placed on our system until... A Hack attack. A lock was placed on our system until a negotiated ransom was paid. Wow, I mean, that's a really sophisticated explanation. Keep in mind, we don't know what kind of ransomware it was. Maybe it was decryptable. Maybe it was a targeted attack. Maybe it was just, uh, you know, another one of those wanna cry things that's still running around in the wild and they were using Windows XP. I don't know. And the funny thing is, nobody apparently does. A negotiated ransom was agreed upon. We paid through a I mean, seriously, I mean, this is a school, right? There must be IT professionals. There must be teachers who teach this kind of thing. How can you have no idea what's going on in, in a scenario like this? Either the news coverage is just really silly or, you know, it's just that's the state of a lot of schools in certain places. Bitcoin system and now are awaiting to be fully restored. Solving this is really impossible. It's, All right. It's, um, something that's worldwide. <laughs> it's something that very, very likely happened, came from out of the country. I mean, he might be right there. Trying to but... trace something like this down is impossible. According to the chief, no data was mined, but the entire email system for the school department is down. Staff forced to use Gmail accounts to communicate. The chief says Superintendent Deacon asked him whether she should pay the $10,000. Here's the best consent. part. You have no choice because without the help of these cyber extortionists, there's no way to decrypt it. There was some negotiation that went on. So basically, um, the school was advised by the police to pay the ransom, which is really weird. I mean, we shouldn't be doing that because A, it encourages more attacks like this and B, there's no guarantee that they're going to restore your data. I mean, this is they don't know. But the funny thing is, looking at this video, it seems like they didn't even bother to consult any kind of higher level professionals to figure out what kind of ransomware it was, what uh, encryption method it used, whether or not it could have been decrypted. And mind you, $10,000 is a pretty decent ransom amount. It's not $100, it's not $200, it's 10000 So the fact that a school would just go forward and pay the ransom this easily is something that I really find disturbing. And it kind of highlights that huge gap that we have uh, with regards to computer literacy. And there are still places like this where people talk about things like cyber attack hack, ransomware hack. Like, this is just really funny, especially after WannaCry, because that kind of brought this awareness worldwide. But here's the thing. These are the people who are going to be victims of these attacks. And we have to figure out a way to get the message through and make sure that the lowest common denominator of the audience or the user base understands how to deal with these situations a bit better. WBZ confirmed that the FBI is now involved in the investigation. Okay, nice. So maybe now that the FBI is involved, they will be able to figure out some more. But um, 
shouldn't they have waited in order to pay? And, and here's another interesting thing. That's not always an option. This was a school, so you could say that, well, they could have waited for a couple of weeks even. Who knows? But if it were a hospital or something that really needed those systems to function to perform some critical operation, waiting is not an option. Even if you can decrypt the files, nobody has time. You need the systems back online now as quickly as possible. And when there's thousands of dollars on the line, maybe it's $100,000 on the line to get the systems operational within a few hours versus 10,000 demanded in ransom, it makes financial sense to just pay the ransom because it's going to cost you more regardless. And that is how these attacks are powered. And that is how there is this financial incentive for cyber criminals to target these institutions. So let me know your thoughts on this incident in the comments below. Please share it with your friends and um, try to do your bit to spread more cybersecurity awareness in your community. Because we need at least a bit better reporting of incidents like this. At least, you know, give us a name. What ransomware? What encryption? What extension? Just saying ransom cyber hack attack is like really silly and it just does not provide any useful information to go on. And I tried to find better reporting for this particular incident. I looked around online and I just could not find more accurate information. Maybe it'll come. Maybe we'll see um, some more info. If any of you already have it, please share it in the comments. But I, I just thought it would be useful to point out the kind of institutions that get attacked by ransomware and end up, end up paying the ransom, the disparities that exist in the modern day threat slash victim landscape. So once again, thank you to my Patreons, thank you for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.